everyone, it's Jan from Thread Garden. A big hello to you all today. Uh, it's Thursday again. It seems like Thursday is a good day for me to do videos. I don't have any children at home during the day and it's my day off from work. So it makes it easy to film. Today I'm going to share with you my Heaven and Earth Design update. It's Mini Alice and Snow White and you can see the picture in front of you on the screen. The artwork's by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and Michelle Sayeda at Heaven and Earth Designs has charted it into this and it's the mini version. Uh, there are 16 pages of my large format pattern. I started on the 1st of December with a Facebook group cross stitch and discuss number two and I have been working on it steadily since. I wanted to show you how I uh, stitch it. I have an iPad mini um, that I use, downloaded the pattern, I bought it as a PDF and I have it on a PDF Expert app so I can enlarge my 10 by 10 square. I can mark off as I go um, with my finger and highlight the pattern. I have printed out the first part of the pattern, um, the symbols and the numbers so I've got something easily to refer to rather than have to go back onto the computer and find out what colour is per symbol. I have two bobbin boxes that my threads are in. So what I've done is I've actually cut out a set of symbols and I've stuck them on the bobbin as well. I've got a Diamo labeler um, to print the numbers off. As I'm getting used to the pattern, I'm remembering what symbol refers to what number. So I don't have to go back to my um, key, which is in this A4 folder as often as I did. So that's good to know. You do get to know the frequent colors that you use. Um, I like this method. I find this method practical, which is good. I park my threads. Um, I just wind off any little thread back onto my bobbins. It doesn't seem to take me a long time to do that. So all my threads are kept in there. Um, and apart from my park threads, which are on my project, I'm not dealing with any other threads anywhere else. So let me show you my update. As you can see, I'm stitching this on Q-snaps. They're 11 by 11 size. Um, you can see all my part threads here and I have many to go on to when I go on to the next row after I finish the top row. I have stitched two pages completely and I'm about the third of the way through the third page of this large format pattern. There are 16 pages in total. The image is standing out beautifully when um, you look at it particularly from a distance it's it does look a bit like a picture like a photograph almost and um, so I'm really pleased with the effect I'm stitching two threads over um, 25 count magic guide even weave that I bought from so and so in the UK it's tent stitched so this is saving me a lot of time so that's probably why I've got such fabulous progress I I'm stitching this mostly in the afternoons. I have it on my craft desk ready to go and if I have an opportunity in the afternoon that's when I'm stitching it or you know, through the day. I'm not stitching it in the evening. It's best if I stitch this fairly upright because I've got my bobbin cases. Often when I'm sitting on the couch in the evenings I like to just stitch with something in my hand. I think this is a bit mind intensive to probably do it on an evening where I'm focusing on the TV and I'm focusing on I'm just a bit tired at the end of the day so I find it's a really good project for the actual daytime when I have a moment and also I've got it left out on my craft table so that's really fabulous because I can just go in and out um, of the room and just do a few stitches um, just for 10 minutes here 10 minutes there you know, while dinner's cooking or something, I can whiz upstairs and um, go to my craft room and do it. I have got a second Heaven and Earth design I will show you very soon that I'm stitching. It's a quick stitch QS treasure hunt bookshelf and it's just part of the bookshelf from the Fox to the Dragon. You might remember me showing it on, the part, on another video. Um, in regards to my videos, I'm finding it's taking me a very long time to upload any videos over 10 minutes. So I've decided to break my videos down into small videos. Uh, so much quicker to upload. Sometimes with my 13 minute videos, it can take me up to three days to actually get it, successfully get it uploaded to YouTube. 
Um, so I need to look into my upload speed. In Australia, we are having a new network. It hasn't reached our suburb yet. And when it does, hopefully that will improve my upload speed. So I hope you enjoyed this update today. I would highly recommend stitching a small mini or quick stitch heaven and earth design to begin with, just to get the process in and see whether you like it. I started a big one to begin with, a complete failure. Um, but I'm pleased I gave a mini a go because this is um, achievable. I can see the progress and I'm very happy with it. I will definitely stitch more Heaven Earth designs in the future and I will probably stitch some large ones because I'm enjoying it so much. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're all having a great stitchy week and you get lots of time on the weekend to stitch. And I will hopefully see you next week. Bye-bye.